people will judge a suburb's value or success by the retail. If you're going to be putting a business in a shop and you're going to be spending fifty, a hundred thousand dollars on your fit out, you want to know you've got the tenure and security of five or ten years. Now, what's happening in Brookvale, which is giving this perception that it's not doing too well, is there's regulation and zoning changes that are happening in talks and draft plans at the moment. The way commercial works, if you've got a tenant in there for 15 years, you can't do anything with it. With a lease is almost like they own the place. So a lot of owners in Brookvale have wanted to have the flexibility um, while there's no certainty on what's happening with the area, because if the zone changes or permits development, they may want to either sell to a developer which, or do the development themselves turn their traditional one shop and one office to maybe four shops and 10 apartments. So at the moment we're seeing that transition in Brookvale where there are empty shops, but it's not from a lack of demand of tenants. It's with all the speculation through council and zoning going through that traditional uh, transition.